Ooh, looking like a hot mess. Welcome back everybody to the video. My name is Patrick Jang. In today's video, we're gonna be going through a full day of eating on Lean Bulk. Again, minor changes, some new stuff, and I'll be taking through a whole day of leg training, but this time we're gonna be focusing on sumo deadlifts. Lately, training has been going very, very well, and my friend Darian also got a brand new treadmill that I'm gonna be able to try out for the first time today. Super excited for that. I haven't used a treadmill or anything like that in quite a long time since all the gyms have been closed. So I'm gonna take you guys to my typical breakfast before I go do heavy sumos and take you through the rest of the errands I'm gonna be going through today. So let's jump right into it. Okay, fun fact about me. I go through phases of eating certain kinds of foods for a certain period of time. A few months ago, I was going through a cliff bar phase and I was running through cliff bars like no other. Right now I'm going through a cereal phase. Lately I've been eating a lot of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I need that Cheerios, as you may or may not know. But right now, I've switched to another flavor. Right now, I'm on that Special K fruit and yogurt hype. This is the best Special K. Uh, I tried the other ones, like the Chocolate Light, that was like complete ass cheeks. I uh, would not recommend. And I didn't even want to touch the vanilla and almond one after that horrible experience with the chocolate one. So I got six servings of that in this bowl, followed by two cups of organic fat-free milk. Save some calories because this one serving of this is only 90 calories saves me about 30 calories to do some other crap with other food Which you'll see later in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just smash this and then go smash a, a deadly workout It's gonna be fun to clean up later All right, so that wasn't the most nutritious breakfast I know but I didn't have any more fruit usually I'll have like a banana or two but I decided just to go with extra cereal today. Now on the way to pick up everybody and go smash that leg workout. Made it to the backyard gym. Uh, Mike's not here with us today because he's at work. Uh, we've got a brand new barbell here at the gym. Man just snagged a Ohio Power Bar 20 kg. Uh, not a power lifter, but I wanted to buy a new barbell for the home gym. So I decided to buy two, one for me, one for Mike, so that he could have it in his gym. So instead of using the Serico one, we now have the stainless steel one right here. So far, so good. Really like it. Love the knurling on it. A lot more aggressive than Cerakote. Um, Cerakote held up pretty well, did its job. You know, more than enough for like home gym use. But it's time to move on to bigger and better things. You have to like be extremely conscious about the bar pass for this one now. Because we could get away with it with the Cerakote. But this is just, like knurling's brand new. I'm already like slightly scraping here. Woo! All right, Jeremiah, finally on the 25s. Show him what you got. There we go. Brace that. Yep. Brace everything, drive. Perfect. <sighs> Feeling real good, really amped up. Pre workouts finally kicking in. I don't know if you noticed the boost in energy. I'm feeling like super amped. That's what happens when you take 500 milligrams of caffeine straight in the morning, right when you wake up. Uh, but I smashed these sets at 325. No problem today. Set. <sighs> Grip the last, last rep. Whew. You know how I said I was gonna smash that 325? That 325 is actually smashing me right now. I feel whooped. I feel 
lightweight and defeated. We still got two more sets to go. I feel super lightheaded. I got that lifters high right now. Just doing my best not to pass out between sets. And yeah. Oh. Come on. Ah. Yeah. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. <laughs> I'm reaching my point. Oh, God. Sheer willpower to get through these last sets. Oh, my God. Uno más. Ah. Woo. Oh my god. Woo. Oh. How was that, Mr. Patrick? No, that was easy. I was scared. Oh my god, that was tough. Wrapped up the workout, showered all, ready to go. Doesn't look like I showered because my hair looks like I just woke up, but some days it feels like my hair has kind of its own, its own attitude, and we don't be getting along sometimes. But right now, we're on the way to Tokyo Fish Market. Again, trying to get some fish. You know, gotta get those good omega-3s with the salmon. We're probably gonna end up making poke again because, to be honest, the protein shake I had just literally ran through my stomach and did nothing, and I'm, my stomach is like punching me. I don't think I'm gonna vlog inside the store because it'd be a little weird because it's a, actually a really small shop, or small fish shop. But the quality of fish is really good, and if you live in the Bay Area, I highly recommend you go try it. Uh, Tokyo Fish Market, Berkeley. So we got this wild farm salmon. We're about to cut up and grill real quick for a little snack before we get to our main course. Daring over here just prepping some veggies for later. Update on the salmon, your boy kind of failed, kind of flip it, but it's still gonna be delicious regardless. So we got here, finished product. Not too bad, if I say so myself. So we definitely just have this as a little snack, and then we're gonna have some sashimi again. No surprise there. Same thing as last week. Uh, we want to do something different this week, but. The last week's food was so good, we decided just to do it again. And and just so happens that the rice is all finished. So while we eat this, we're gonna let the rice cool. And then once the rice cools, then we'll go ahead and eat some poke. Or maybe sashimi or whatever, we're gonna make something. Tokyo Fish Market always has like the nicest fish. Like, look, this thing looks beautiful. 
right now, Darian's trying to practice his uh, sashimi cutting skills. You know, not too bad for the first try. You know. It's still gonna taste good regardless. Okay. You know, not bad for the first time. He's just shaping. Hey. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Kinda clean. Kinda clean with it. Amazing. Quality at the Tokyo Fish Market is always on point. So this is officially gonna be meal two. We got here a little, little tiny snack sized salmon bowl or salmon poke bowl. Probably gonna be eating more later on with like some different stuff. Might make some hand rolls, some onigiri balls or whatnot. Cause we still have some leftover and fried salmon from earlier, but bone apple teeth. That thing is beautiful. Look good. We do need a little bit of soy sauce. Mm -hmm. A little, little favorite, huh? Mm -hmm. So what you're working with. Look at that combo. God, oh my goodness. How are you gonna wrap that? Just like this. Oh man, you made it work too. What are you, a sushi restaurant or something? 16 years. All my life. Oh, I was born to do this. Mmm. <laughs> That is just the fakest reaction ever. <laughs> <laughs> just wrapping up cardio. Friend Darren invested into a treadmill with his brother. Set up is really sick. Got a whole treadmill in the room and we're able to watch the anime while we're doing cardio. Just wrapping it up. Going about an hour. You know, you gotta work hard to eat good. About 700 calories. And I'm about to show you guys my last and final meal right after this. So we're back at home. I'm sweating balls from cooking all this food, um, believe it or not. So what I have here is white rice, one and a half cups of spinach, four servings of spinach, four eggs scrambled all together with onion powder, salt, and cayenne pepper for color. Cause you know, you always gotta have some cayenne pepper in your stir fries to have a little spice, make it exciting or else it'd be just a boring stir fry. So some updates on the home gym. I literally have almost everything I need for the home gym all pretty much set up. I'm just waiting for like my stepdad to finish the electricity and the wiring then I can get all the mats in and then I can honestly get started with just the barbell and the weights that I have in the back. The gym is coming along nicely. So I'm really excited to share with you guys once it's all finalized and then probably be able to make some more sick content back there because when I'm like in the house you know I try not to be loud and obnoxious but I feel like when I have that little space back there I could be you know more of myself and just like express myself you know without having to you know hold myself in reserve real quick I want to mention um one of my good friends isaac he's starting his own clothing line called prolific hustle and by the time this video has gone up pre-orders are already on the way so if you can and you're watching this video go support my friend isaac kim his line prolific hustle link will be in the description box below one thing you always have to do no matter what and if you really are their friend, you'll support them in all their endeavors and all their journeys, no matter what. So just like how he's always showed me love and support, always support your friends, always support the ones that support you, and then win and grow together. Again, too much cayenne pepper. Oh, quick shout out to my coworkers and my managers. They still watch my videos, so you know, I don't know if you guys are watching there. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you for always feeding me real good at work. You guys making my bulk really easy. So that's going to wrap up the video here. That was a full day of eating with a full day of leg training. 
Um, we're really limited to what we can do for, you know, our leg training. So we kind of just go super hard with, you know, very little exercises. Still gets a good workout in for hypertrophy, nonetheless. Um, thank you guys for always watching. Please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm if you do. I really appreciate it. If you like these types of full day of eating and training videos, please let me know in the comment section below so I can make more of it in the future. Uh, I definitely have some other videos planned for the future to come, like some eating challenges and some other fun videos besides just straight fitness. Although I'll still be training like just as hard every single day, you know, try to, you know, build as much foundation, try to be next year's physique for the next cut. But that's all for me. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay safe and see you guys in the next video.